if you've been on the golf simulator internet at all, you know that most people tend to recommend VS Pro as the golf simulator software of choice. The biggest downside that I've seen to GS Pro is a lot of people are saying that you need a pretty strong gaming computer, uh, laptop or PC, in order to run the program at all. Now, what if I were to tell you that you don't need that, you can get by with maybe even a laptop that you have lying around. I've got an interesting test for you coming up here. Um, stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, let's get to the test. Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. I got an interesting comparison today. Uh, as you may know, if you've been following my channel, uh, recently I tested out a bunch of the different software options for my Garage Garmin R10 simulator, and I settled on GS Pro. Um, and one of the reasons I did was that my current laptop, that's just a regular laptop, it's not a gaming laptop, it's able to run GS Pro. Um, the graphics don't look great. There's some courses that uh, I get quite a few um, stutters on, but it does run it. I'm able to play golf. However, uh, just recently, actually, uh, by the time you see this, I will have it already. Um, that's the point of this video. But tomorrow in my timeline, uh, I'm going to pick up a cheap gaming computer, a uh, gaming PC that I purchased on Facebook Marketplace. Um, with the sole purpose of running GS Pro. So it is uh, an older um, graphics card. It's a, a little bit older processor, but it has a graphics card and, and this uh, laptop certainly doesn't. So what we're gonna do today in GS Pro, we'll do some whole flyovers. I'll maybe hit some shots on some of the less graphics intensive courses or maybe like a driving range. I'll do the same thing tomorrow when I go to pick up the computer, we'll do the same thing on a higher graphics setting. And we'll sort of just compare what the differences are between the two if the graphics card makes a difference in me being able to play some of the more graphics intensive courses, makes a difference in my enjoyment of the simulator, I'm not sure. So uh, that's sort of the purpose of the test. We'll, we'll check it out and we'll see how it looks. Stay tuned, uh, should be an interesting comparison of, of two uh, different computers that uh, can run GS Pro one of them hopefully can do it a little more effectively than the other, but we'll, we'll check it out. So let's do it. All right, as a reminder, guys, if you're liking the content, feel free to leave me a like or subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm doing this for fun, uh, but I'd love it if you're along for the ride with me. As always, questions down below in the comments. I answer as many as I get. I guess that's it. No more pitch. Let's get to the video. We're going to go through some whole flybys um, from a couple courses. Uh, the one course I know is uh, has some graphics challenges for me is the Augusta National Golf Course. Uh, when I play that course, I get quite a few stutters, um, low frame rates from my from my laptop. We'll we'll run through at least a flyover on that one, and then I'll pick a couple of random ones that I've downloaded um, and do some flyovers. And then, like I said, I'll I'll hit a couple shots on on some holes in the driving range and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is Bay Hill's famous 18th hole. Let's do a flyover and see how the flyover looks. Okay, flyover looks pretty good. So let's hit a couple shots. Okay, so we're gonna hit a five iron here just to see how, uh, how it performs. See how I perform, not well is the answer. 
Okay, but that looked all right. So where's this enemy? Out here. Okay, I'll just punch one out. Punch it out right in the tree. Go, go. All right. I got 224 to the flag. I cannot hit there with this club, so I'm going to aim at the very left side, see if I can't make a five somehow. All right, I must have this my R10 lined up pretty well because that was that was right about where I was aiming. I think I hit it. okay, five iron pitch, and this green's narrow. Never realized how narrow it is. Forgot to turn the auto put on anyway. Oh, okay. I think we'll be done. So, one hole at Bay Hill went pretty well, honestly. Um, you know, the graphics are on the GS Pro Lite mode doesn't bother me. I think they're fine. I think it looks fine. Now, will I feel differently tomorrow when I see the high graphics or ultra graphics from my new gaming computer and I'll think, I can't believe I ever looked at this before and thought it was okay? That's possible, certainly. All right, let's quit this one. Let's play a hole at Augusta because, like I said, I know that one is, I've had trouble with it being graphics intensive. All right, Georgia Golf Club, famous 13th hole. There's a lot of trees, a lot of flowers, a lot of water to render for this one. I've had trouble with uh, the Georgia Golf Club in here in the past. Uh, I've been able to play it, but it's always pretty laggy in terms of the the frame rate and such. Graphics right now look pretty good to me. Um, they look pretty good on the computer. Let's do a flyover, see, how, see if we can get a flyover in. Okay, you can already see, so this is a little worse than uh, Bay Hill 18. There's a lot of trees and a lot of water and stuff. A lot of flowers to render. Yeah, so that flyover was certainly choppier on my machine. Okay. Let's give it a whirl, see how the actual golf goes. So I've just got a five iron. I'm going to try and... I think I should be able to make a five here. Just a five iron. That was a nice hit. Oh, apparently it was forever right, so never mind. Sit down right there. Right there. Stay in the fairway. Okay, that's not bad. Where am I? I'm down by, like... Where, where am I? This is, um... Yeah, okay. This is not great. But it's okay. I, I can make a five. I'm going to have to hit a... Hit the, like the same shot I hit, just start it left. Hit a big hard cut. Oh, I think I did it. Oh, it went right through. Ho, ho. Look at that shot. That was more risky than I was trying for. This actually is performing decently. It's, there's a little more... I feel like there's a, it's a little more staggered than, um, than Bay Hill was, but it's, it's better than I remember it. Okay, so let's hit it. We're going to hit it at the left side of that middle bunker. Just try and hit it, get it up there on the green. This 
Hang in there. Hang in there. Oh no, it's in the water. Be right of it. Okay. Oh no, it's dead. All right. I guess I can't make a five. Now we're in trouble. Can I go back any farther? All right. Drop it there. Okay. Now I've got a five iron, which is which is difficult. A little five iron flop shot there. Oh, oh! Look at that shot, guys. How about it? They make the putt. One, two, in, three, out, four. I made the putt up and down with the five iron. In the front of thirteen. Okay, so that graphics there were not quite as good as as Bay Hill. One thing that I did want to do before we sign off for the night here is to try and run GS Pro on my laptop on a higher graphics setting than light. I have no idea how this is going to work. I've never tried it before, but uh, I'm going to bump it up to medium, I think, and then I'm going to try and run uh, a couple of courses, a couple of holes. We'll see if it works at all. So let's let's just give it a go. All right, guys, we're back. I got GS Pro set to medium graphics settings now. My laptop is very warm to the touch. Uh, All right, it's on medium. Do you see much of a difference here? I can't say that I do. The clouds look different, maybe a little better. The trees look maybe a little better. Let's do a flyover. Flyover is doing fine. The water looks better. I will say the reflection handling on the water is a lot better. A bit more realistic. But it did fine. So, okay, let's play the hole. Okay, I'm getting low FPS warnings here. I have a nice shot, better shot than last time. All right, I'm gonna try and hit it up the left-hand side. Man, this is a treacherous hole. That's well struck. Yeah, you don't wanna to get too far. Oh no, don't hit a house. Hit. Low FPS warning, this has got to be out of bounds. Yeah. That's too bad. That was a good hit. I just kind of tugged it a bit and didn't want to go right. Let's hit it again. Okay, so we're getting some low FPS warnings here on medium graphics. But you know what? It's... Oh, man. I, I didn't think it did that. It's playable though. That's the thing. It's playable. So, if you like, I mean, that is a nice water reflection there. If you like the water, you definitely could play this on medium. It, um, it might be stuttery when you hit, but really, like, it's golf. How often are you hitting? Not, like, how often is the ball in the air and the screen is moving? Not that often. Most of the time you're just sitting here picking your club, looking at the shot, and you get a look at this water and it's fine. And so, like, when you hit, for the four seconds the ball's in the air, your trade-off is it's it looks a little jittery, but it's still going to get to the same place. Does that matter? I don't know. Maybe not. 137. This is a tough one. i got to hit like a big hook or a big cut, I mean. 
that's in the water or it's forever long or it's perfect actually oh look at that shot guys five iron okay i'm gonna i'm gonna stop it now because i didn't set it to auto put but That was surprisingly good. You know, okay, let's, I'm gonna quit it here. Let's go to like the high graphics and just see what, what it does. Hey, while we're waiting for this to load, let me once again give a pitch. Leave me a like, subscribe if you want, throw some comments down, um, trying to provide some information that's useful to people. So if you're enjoying the content, give me a like. My computer has not like caught fire yet. Does that look any different? No. From medium? No. I mean, maybe it's because my like my computer literally can't do it. So it's like downgrading or downshifting or whatever. All right, let's do flyover. Flyover looks fine. What's happening? Water looks beautiful. Yeah, the textures of the bushes in front still aren't great. They're as not great as they were before. So it really looks like just water handling. All right, let's hit, let's see how it does. Oh man, that's money. Okay, we're getting again, low FPS warnings. It's pretty jittery. Oh, that's no good. Aim it right, hit it hard, we'll be fine. All right. But like, okay, so again, to my point from last time, like most of this is a still picture. And like, it doesn't matter how low the FPS is on a still picture, right? So yes, okay, yes. I, I can hear the people watching this arguing with me. Like, it does detract from the immersion. It, it does detract from the immersion. To, to have it be immersive, an immersive gaming experience, you probably want it to be as high quality as possible, and you want it to be smooth and natural and etc. I would argue that I'm playing golf in my garage, <laughs> there's there's some level of suspension of disbelief from reality anyway that like that's that's at the essence of garage golf simulator round i don't think making it look a little fancier is going to make me feel like i'm on the golf course anymore i can just go ahead and wail on this one Cut, please. Stay in bounds. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't look great. I'll, I'll give it that. It does not look great. Good angle here on this one. 100 yards. Water looks good. Oh. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, it stayed up. All right. <laughs> what a bad shot. <sighs> All right, we're gonna be done, I think. I hit in the water. But, so like, that's what we found so far. It's not that bad. You know what, just for fun. Just for fun, we're gonna run it on ultra high. Let's just, why not? Why not? All right, Bay Hill number 18, ultra high graphics. All right, again, 
ultra high graphics. Looks the same. I, I'm starting to think that my machine might be down. Oh, well, the grass looks better, actually. The grass looks a lot better. My projector is part of the problem. The grass looks pretty good on the computer screen here. It doesn't look quite as good on my projector. Okay, fly over time. Ultra graphics. Seems to make absolutely no difference on the flyover. These graphics are as good as they get. I'm still disappointed with the scrub brush in front of the green there. It looks, still doesn't look great. All right. So I was getting eight, seven frames per second on, uh, on very high. Let's see if ultra is any different, better or worse. Probably not better. Really getting into the swing here. I mean, that did fine. That did just fine. Right, I'm not going to hit a full swing here because I can't get there anywhere, so I'm just going to hit a little 150 shot. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting that low FPS warning which you'd expect, given the fact that I'm playing it on ultra high with, without a graphics card. The water looks nice. Same shot as last time. Go in. Go! Ah, uh, lucky. Okay. Went in the water. We'll be done. All right, guys, so GS Pro on different graphics levels on my underpowered laptop. It ran okay. It didn't run great. You know, would you recommend, if someone was going to buy a computer, would you recommend them buy this one to run GS Pro? No. But... If you have a computer already and you want GS Pro and spending $1,000 on a gaming computer is prohibitive, can you try the computer you have as long as it has a halfway decent processor and halfway decent graphics card? Yeah, I think you can. Mine does fine. It does pretty well on the ultra light graphics. It does okay on like high and very high. I just, it astounds me. But my initial reaction here on does the computer matter? I mean, yes, the computer matters. If you've got a better computer, you're going to have a more immersive experience. Do you need a great computer to run GS Pro? No, I don't think so. You need a serviceable one. If you want to try it out, this is what I did. I had to pay the 250 I downloaded the program. I, I loaded it up. If it didn't work, I was going to give it back to them. They were going to give, give me back my money except for $15. So it might cost you $15 to try it. But if you're curious about GS Pro, if you want to have the best simulator software that you can and you're concerned about your computer, I think it's that's that's a $15 gamble that's worth taking because GS Pro is, is so good and they've got a zillion courses and it's updating all the time. Okay, so you can see stuttering, low FPS warnings. But like, it runs pretty good for a laptop that doesn't even have a graphics card. It doesn't even have a graphics card, guys. And it runs it okay. So, my two cents. If you're on the fence about getting GS Pro and your hesitancy is you have a computer that you don't think is quite good enough, I would suggest just getting it and downloading the program and seeing if it works. GS Pro does have 
a, I think it's a seven day return policy where they will give you all your money back except for like a $15 processing fee or something um, if you return it within seven days. So to me, what this test shows is a lot of courses will run pretty well on the ultra light graphics on this laptop. Again, Ryzen 7 CPU, integrated Radeon graphics, not even a, not even a separate graphics card. It runs ultra light pretty good. It runs at least some of these courses on the higher graphics settings too. You're going to get some frame rate losses. Is that acceptable to you or not? I guess that that's a personal decision. You've seen what's happened to me on these shots on this hole. Uh, I did dip down to eight, seven, I think I saw frame rate, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13 happened on the higher graphics settings. And certainly I think different courses have different graphical load. Maybe it's true that Bay Hill isn't a heavy graphics load like uh, Georgia Golf Club seems like it is, or, or I'm sure you guys, you know, comment below, what are the highest graphics load courses that you know of? I'd be happy to do kind of a similar test here going up the graphics ladder with my laptop. But I think that's the conclusion. If you're on the fence, if the only reason you're, you haven't gotten GS Pro yet is you're not sure if your computer is good enough, just give it a try. Um, it could work. It worked for me, and it could work for you. Now, bow on that. I am getting a gaming computer. I found one used on Facebook Marketplace in my area um, for a reasonable price. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. I'm going to do the same kind of testing uh, using that gaming computer. So uh, that'll be the second half of this video. As always, leave me a like, subscribe if you want to, leave questions, comments below. Uh, if there's any other content that you're interested in seeing in, in me testing out or whatever, let me know. I'm happy to do it. Um, but this is a this is a liberating conclusion, I think, for me, and hopefully it's liberating for some of you out there as well. Um, GS Pro is, by all accounts, the best golf simulator software there is. And it is reasonably expensive. And I think the only downside is the barrier to entry is a little high. You, you need a decent quality computer to run it. But I think this test proves that maybe that's not necessarily as true as, as everyone has thought, especially on the lower graphics settings. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. This was a really interesting test. Um, made me feel good about my decision to purchase GS Pro. Hopefully it makes you feel good about um, a potential decision to buy or to look into it further. Um, All right, everybody. So I just picked up the gaming computer. I'm going to run it through a few flyover tests now for, at different graphics settings, both at Bay Hill 18th hole and at Augusta National 13, uh, the ones that we've seen in the video before. Um, so I'll show what those flyovers look like from the gaming computer, uh, and then as well, I will show some comparisons, some side-by-side -side comparisons with my laptop and then the various different levels of graphics settings on the gaming computer. Uh, at the end of this, uh, we'll talk about what I think is best or most optimal for my computer and what differences I see between between all these settings. So here we go. All right, so I should probably talk a little bit about what this uh, cheap gaming PC is that I bought in the first place. So I was able to get mine on Facebook Marketplace for less than $200. Uh, it's, it, it is older. Um, it has an i5-7500 processor, and the graphics card is a 1060 6 gigabyte graphics card. So I'll throw up on the screen here now some comparisons of that uh, that GPU to some of the recommended ones. 
uh, GS Pro on their website, they recommend uh, a 970 graphics card at, at minimum spec for like an okay 1080p experience. They say for a great 1080p experience, you want a 3060 Ti. So I'll, like I said, I'll show on the screen here some comparisons between my 1060 six gigabyte and, and those couple graphics cards. Um, long story short, it's a little better than the 970. It's significantly worse than the 3060 Ti. But it's, it's between those two. It's, it's within the realm of reason. I do belong to some of the GS Pro user Facebook groups, and there are computer questions out there all the time. And quite often people are asking about um, computers with, with what seem to me to be pretty decent spec uh, graphics cards. And often the answers that people get back in the forums are this will not run GS Pro. There's no way you, you need to, you should be spending more. You should be getting a way better graphics card. I mean, different people have different wants and needs. For me, I just want to be able to play golf and have it not be, have the graphics not be disruptive. And I mean, maybe this is showing my hand. I didn't really think my laptop was all that terrible. Um, I mean, I got some frame rate drops, but like I've said throughout the video, when you're just looking at a, a screen that isn't moving, it doesn't matter what the frame rate is. The only time that there's any movement is after, right after you hit the ball. And that's at most 50% of the time that you're playing a simulator golf round. I would argue it's, it's significantly less. This is informational for you if you're thinking about running GS Pro, if you're thinking about buying it, use this information as, as you will. The computer I bought, again, like I said, less than $200. I got it used on Facebook Marketplace. It's got a pretty old processor. It's got a pretty old but okay graphics card. And it seems to run the program pretty well on medium graphics. It even runs it okay on very high and ultra graphics. So. I guess I disagree with with the people in those comments that are saying, you know, oh, you need a you need a 3060 or a 3060 Ti or a 4060 to run GS Pro. You don't. My laptop, which doesn't even have a graphics card, runs the program. It doesn't run it optimally. But if your goal is to get GS Pro, you don't have the budget for a separate computer, but you have a laptop that you think might work. You can get GS Pro and you can play it on that laptop, very likely. Okay, after looking at all these side-by-side -side comparisons, what do we think? Um, I don't see much difference here between the medium graphics and the very high or ultra. And it seems like I get about 10 frames per second better on medium than I do on very high or ultra um, at both Bay Hill and at uh, Augusta National. So I think for me, as I run GS Pro on this computer, I'm going to run it on the medium graphics settings, knowing that on a lower graphics load course like Bay Hill, I shouldn't have any problems. I was running at 60 frames per second or so. On a higher graphics load course, potentially like Augusta National, I'm still getting 30 frames a second on the flyover, um, which is great. Now, are the newer courses, are higher graphics load courses going to give me a hard time even on medium graphics settings? They might. I don't know, we'll need to find out. Um, like I said before, leave down in the comments, if you know of some uh, graphics intensive courses, leave them down below so I can test them out on my computer. Um, but like I said, I think for now, if medium is 98% as good as ultra or very high, and to my eyes, they look almost identical, 
uh, that's I think what I'm going to go with. So I'll be running my PC, gaming PC, on medium graphics, I think, on GS Pro. And I'll have a couple of uh, Simulator Golf Tour round vlogs coming up on the channel here in the next few weeks. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, I'll certainly be opining on how I feel the gaming PC is doing. But that's what I've got for now. Uh, this PC seems to run GS Pro really well. Um, like you could see on the, on the flyovers, it handles the reflections on the water beautifully, even on medium graphics. Uh, so that's what I'm going to run it on so I can get pretty good performance out of it. All right, so like I've said, I think that's the conclusion. If you want GS Pro, you can get it. If you have a laptop already, you can try it. You don't necessarily need to spend thousands of dollars on a computer to optimize it perfectly. If you want a 4K super immersive experience, you do. Yes, you do. But if you want to just play GS Pro, you, you really don't. And hopefully this test proves it to you. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll see you next time. Thanks.